what kind of advice do you have? I know a lot of moms, you know, I think when I originally wrote this question, I wrote it about breastfeeding, but especially being a mom that had, you know, her baby during the pandemic, I know there's a lot of moms right now that are currently pregnant and still kind of anxious or nervous about it. So what kind of advice do you have for moms that are currently pregnant or just had a baby in the pandemic that are kind of feeling um, a little bit of stress and a little bit of worry because of everything going on? What I can say is that it's just you who knows the best for your kid. No one else will know. Like, do what's just best for you both. What works for you both. And it's not easy. Breastfeeding is not easy. I know how many hours I have been like awake feeding my baby. And, and still, I don't want to be like giving up. I want to continue like as long as she wants. I have been scared maybe one day <laughs> I might not be able to do this. But then what I feel is like, it's just what she needs. Like, you know, like we have to give her this. We just can't stop just because we, it's difficult for us or maybe there's no other way for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just kind of thinking it as you know this is what she needs right now and you know doing everything you can yeah maybe like tomorrow also when she grow up we can sleep we can enjoy we can go wherever we want but this time won't come back right so what's something that you've like learned about yourself through whether it's through pregnancy or through becoming a mom what i have learned was um, that the like you have to learn yourself not like like you have to go and ask everything from someone and then maybe he that person is going to be with you like like each and every second like how to do this how to do that and all that it's just you 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 have to walk yourself and to learn like to figure out which which way is the best for you yeah i've i've heard that a lot in my interviews where so many women get overwhelmed by all the information out there and they read, you know, everything. And when it comes down to it, I mean, kind of like our, our brand, you know, mommy knows best when it comes down to it, it's, you know, you know, what's best for your baby and it's good to kind of take pieces of information, but ultimately, you know, what's going to work best for your schedule, your family and your baby. So, so just like a little like update, what is your like, what is the COVID situation kind of like right now in Maldives? Like, are you guys able to go out a little bit to like public places or is it very con like controlled where you guys go? Uh, yeah, the COVID situation right now in Maldives is like under control. Like we had, I think maybe 41 deaths here. Though, though like the, I think two to three months back, there was like maybe more than 100 positive cases here but now mostly he has like 10 or maybe sometimes eight so that much is control but when people are going around they wear the mask mm -hmm. and when we go to the restaurants and cafe there's like the there's a way we can sanitize ourselves and when we are going with the baby they will sanitize the high chair as well okay Cool. So it's, it seems like it's getting much better for you guys then. And awesome. Yeah. It's so interesting. Like every, you know, every country is kind of doing their own thing right now. So I'm always just yeah. curious to see yeah, what people are doing. How are you navigating being a new mom during this kind of like crazy time that we're living in? Uh, first of all, I'm very much concentrated about the post baby return to work. But since the related authorities have told us that uh, if you can walk while staying at home, then it's actually the best during this time. But it has been very challenging to balance the, like, as I have said, the mom life and the work life as well. And my family, my husband, they are like really supporting. Like every day, Every morning when I wake up, the my my husband will be taking care of the baby until I be like, when I, until I finish my 
office work until I finish like doing my workout. Uh, then my mom will be also helping him as well. That's awesome that you're able to like work from home. I think that's such an awesome benefit about you know certain jobs, especially in this climate, everything going on right now. So did you all did you always work from home before all this, or did, were you in an office? No, I was I was in the office until I had my labor pain. <laughs> Oh, I was there. Yeah, I was working until the last minute. I remember, and then I couldn't go. That day I couldn't go to the office because I was like having so much pain. And the next day I ended up giving birth. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh wow! And it, like the timing, like with everything going on, it was like the timing for you was like perfect because you were able to like before you know before a lot of the craziness and I don't I'm sure you know Mal- Maldives was since you guys are smaller it didn't get you know too out of hand but that sounds like at least you were able to you know work from home um right away and you guys yeah how it is like ma- um maternity leave and all that work by you hey actually we get six months of maternity leave in the government sector but since I am working in a private place, we get like uh, three months. Okay. Yeah. And then I was lucky to get four months because <laughs> I, I, my, I mean, sorry, my, my management was like really nice and they let me take one more month. And then I was like scared when my maternity was going to end. I was like so scared, like my baby is too small. I don't want to go. And then the COVID situation came. Actually, I was lucky. I'm still lucky I went home with my nine months old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Because mm. I think, yeah, there's so many people now that are figuring out that they can do their jobs at home. And now you get to be around, you know, and, you know, be there for your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, before, I mean, before the situation came, maybe some people were thinking, you, it's actually a must you should go to the office and do your work mm-hmm. but because of this COVID I am sure that most of the people will be like thinking like why should I go to office when I can work from home <laughs> exactly <laughs> maybe so many people have actually figured out like how they are going to do it like maybe before they did not have any idea about this yeah, exactly. I think, yeah, I think a lot of jobs are kind of morphing into this new thing where they're kind of realizing like a lot of people can work from home, you know, if you don't need to be at the office. So I know we've kind of done that here. A lot of us, uh, mommy knows best, we've started working from home. I was at the office for a little bit, but we have a really small team. So we've kind of just, you know, kind of bounced around, but I can definitely see, especially with having a young baby, that would be you know, really not nice yeah. able to do that. Um, cut out all that commute time and, you know, extra time away. So that's awesome. Well, so what do you say is the best part about being a mom? You might like experience the small moments that can't be explained. I believe like the time flies. You know, I know like when your baby will grow up. So just... Enjoy the small moments. You never know this time won't come back. 